Good morning. Welcome to another lesson with Mr. Amma. We're continuing with fractions today. So get your thinking caps on. Here we go. In a fraction, we have the number up above and the number down below. So the number up above is the numerator. That is on top. And then the number down below it is the denominator. And I always remember that the denominator is down below because it starts with a D, just like the word down. So the denominator is down below the numerator. Maybe try and say the names, the numerator and denominator, just so you get used to saying those large words. Pretend each circle represents a whole cake. Which would you rather have? Would you rather have this cake or this one? Well, personally, I would choose the big one because I like a bigger cake. I'd rather have more cake to eat, right? So now let's go on. One small cake equals one large cake. Is this true? So that's saying that this small cake is the exact same as this large cake. Is that true? Well, if you answered no, you would be correct. Because look, the large cake, it can fit the small cake and a lot more inside of it. So it's much larger. So it is not equal. Are these pairs of cakes equal? So looking at these two cakes, are they equal? Well, if you said yes, then you'd be correct. Because if you take this one and you compare it to the other one, it is the exact same size. So they are equal. So in math, we could actually, we could write that they are equal. They are the exact same. And let's take a look at another two cakes. Here we have them. There are larger cakes. Do you think these two are equal? Well, once again, they are the exact same size. So we can say that they are equal because they are the exact same. Okay, so that was probably pretty easy for you to see that they were equal or not equal. Now, what fraction of each square is shaded? So looking at this square, what fraction is a bit darker? Well, that would be half because there is one equal side that is shaded and one equal side that is not shaded, so half. What about this one? Well, it would be the same. Looks the exact same, but it's just a bit larger. Now, let's take a look at this. Half a small cake equals half a large cake. Is this true? If I had half a small cake, would that be the exact same as having half a large cake? No, you'd still have half a small cake. So your cake would not be equal in size compared to the large cake. And you can even take a look at this, right? If you compare it, oh, half the small cake is nothing compared to half the large cake. There will be a few questions like this asking you to compare fractions and say if they are equal or not equal. So you got to make sure that you're looking at them and saying, yes, they might be the same fraction, but if they are different sizes, then they are not going to be perfectly equal, right? Okay, here we are with some more images, and we are trying to find the fraction that is shaded once again. So we got to count up all the shaded ones to get our numerator and count up all of them in total to get our denominator. So 
let's count all the shaded ones first. How about one, two, three, four, five, which means there's one, two, three, four, five here. So that means 10 in total. So that's going to be our numerator. And then that is over our denominator. And if there's two more, that means there are 12 squares in total. That saves us a trip. Instead of having to count everything again, we can just add two more. So 10 out of 12 or 10 twelfths. Next one. Here we are. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in total. So I'm switching it up. That is our denominator because I counted all of them in total. Now, how many of them are shaded? Well, there are three shaded. So three eighths. Ooh, interesting shape down here. Well, we have, how about let's count the shaded ones first. One, two, three, four, five. It says five over how many in total? Well, we had five, so now we can just count the rest. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five out of twelve. So that means we say it five twelfths. Well, there you have it. I hope that made sense, first of all, and I hope that you do well on your assignment. Fractions are at first pretty easy. I hope that you guys can kind of see the comparisons and we'll move into more complicated things soon enough. So don't worry, those of you who are thinking this is so simple. It'll get more complicated. Okay, good luck. Bye.